The state volleyball team is picking up steam this year after upsetting number 20 Minnesota Duluth on the road just a day ago. Sports director Rob Clark checks in with the team to see what's behind all the success. We're going in every match of this year. The expectation is we're going to win. MSU is a contender in the stacked NSIC this season. Making the tournament is number one goal. It's a contrast from seasons past and the success in 2024 is years in the making. I wanted this to happen two years ago when we went 6-22. and 22. Right? Rough year. But I knew that we were still doing things in the right way. It's nice to see the progression from freshman year to senior year now. It's changed so much. Part of the turnaround for this program comes directly from preparation. Midway through the spring, we made some significant changes in the way that we practice. And the intensity and the urgency and the focus shifted. Another difference maker for this year's group is the emphasis on serving. MSU's recorded 75 aces as a team in 2024. All of the athletes in our gym developed a second type of serve. Um, so a lot of them do a jump float or a standing float. And now Torin is hitting a top spin jump serve. And other people are hitting serves with spin that isn't normal just to make the other team uncomfortable. So if we, we believe that if we can win the serve pass battle, more times than not, we're going to have a pretty good advantage in that match, regardless of who we're playing. The vision is coming together for the MSU coaching staff. The Mavericks are already up to 11 wins on the season, with 12 matchups remaining in regular season action. Our plan is to be aggressive to any team and show what Maverick Volleyball is all about. It's a different feel for a group that isn't backing down from a challenge. In Mankato, Rob Clark, KEYC News Now Sports. The Mavericks return to action Friday against Minot State. That's all for sports. Here's a look at the rest.